hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video i'm going to be showing you how to solve cambridge igcse ict practical exam this is paper 3 and this is may june 2024 exam variant 32 so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to solve the spreadsheet task okay task one evidence document Create a new word process document. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Okay, so to have our name, we need to put that in the header. Center number, candidate number. Save this document in your work area as J32 evidence underscore followed by your center number and candidate number. Okay, underscore center number and candidate number. Task 2. Open and examine the file J32 giraffe. This file will be used in step 2 and 3. Do not make any changes to this file. Open and examine the file J32 sightings. Okay, so this is the spreadsheet we'll be typing in our formula. Save the file J32 sightings as a spreadsheet with the file name giraffe followed by your center number and candidate number. Okay, the file sightings. Underscore center number and then candidate number. Change the file format to Excel workbook. Row 7 to 25 will show the number of sightings of the tag giraffe in each country for one week in February. Rows 20 onwards show the details of all sightings for this week. Okay, so row 7 to 25. Okay, 7 to 25. So number of sightings for each of this country. And row 28 downwards okay, shows details of the sightings. Place your name, center number, and candidate number center aligned in the header. So insert header. Okay, center aligned name, center number, and candidate number. Place the text created on, followed by space, automated dates. A space, then the text at, followed by a space, then automated time in the footer. So in the footer, no specific place is mentioned. So we just put here, okay, followed by date, go to design, current date, then at, space, followed by time. Okay, that's done. And then we go to the normal view. Place a replicable formula in cell D28 to look up the species using the code and external file giraffe. Okay, in cell D28, D28. Okay, so we need to look up the species using the code. 
For us to know the formula to use, we need to look at the arrangement of our data. So we have code, we have species. So this data is arranged vertically. So we are going to be using VLOOKUP. Equal VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is B28. The table array is from code to species. Come on. Our column index. Okay, our answer is in column three. So our column index is three. Then exact match. Close bracket. Okay, so we have the answer. So I'm just going to click on these two drag down the formula. Place a replicable formula in cell F28 to look up the status using the code and the external file giraffe in F28. Okay. okay, so we are still going to use the code to find the data for status. So equal V lookup lookup value our table array okay, is from code to status. Comma. Status is in column F, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Column 6, comma, exact match, close bracket. So I'm going to double click on this to drag down the formula. Replicate the formula entered in step 2 and 3 for all sightings. Okay, we have done that. Place in cell B3 a formula to count the total number of sightings for this 7-day period. Okay, in cell B3, a number of sightings. So we're going to be using count A to count this, all this number of sightings. We will use count A. So equal count A. Then close bracket. Okay, this shows 70. If you look at the question, this shows 70, which is correct. Question six. Place a formula in cell B4 to count the total number of sightings for the seven day period where a photograph of critically endangered species were taken. So this has two conditions. It means that photograph must be taken and it must be critically endangered species in cell B4. So if we look at here, we have the status. Okay, some are critically endangered, some are endangered. So we only want to count the one that shows critically endangered and photograph was taken. So because we have two conditions, we are going to make use of count ifs. If it is one condition, we use count if, but we have multiple conditions. We have we are going to use count ifs. Count ifs if this column comma is critically endangered. And then this column Comma shows yes. So we have 12. So if you look at the question, okay, so we can see this is correct. Insert a new row in cell 5, between row 5 and 6, and place the text in a, cell A6, critically endangered. So between row and row 5 and 6, Row five and six, okay. And then we need to place the text in A6. That's done. Okay. Question eight. Place a replicable formula in cell B8 to display the number of sightings of critically endangered. Okay, so she's in the country 
so this is cell b8 so in cell b8 so for each country it will look at the country and then it will look at the status so it will only count for the critical critically endangered okay so in this case we're going to be using count ifs equal count ifs okay so our criteria first criteria will be it should check the country okay now we are going to make the country um absolute reference because it has to it cannot change so we are going to use the dollar symbol in front of each um cell range okay So if it is this cell, it has to count. Then comma. The second criteria is check the status. Okay, this also cannot change, so we need to make it absolute reference with using the dollar symbol. So if this is critically endangered, okay, so we are going to drag down, okay, so 002, okay, if you go to the question paper, you can see this is 002, so which is correct. So this is done. Okay. Make sure cells A1 to B1 and A6 to B6 are merged. And then set the font size of the text in row 1 and 6 to 20 points. Okay, so A1 to B1 merged. And then A6 to B6 merged. Okay, the point is, the font size is 20. This also is 20. Okay, now we need to format the spreadsheets to look like this. Okay, so the first um, row, okay, we can see that this is wrapped and it is bold. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this. Okay, I'm going to wrap. Okay, this is bold. I think this also is bold. Okay, and then we can see row 2 and row 5. The height is adjusted. Okay, row 3. Um, A3 is right aligned. And then B3 to B4 is centered. Okay, so centered, right aligned, this has to be wrapped also. Okay, that's fine. Then row 7 is also bold. Row 7 is bold. And we can see that this number of sightings is wrapped. Is wrapped and it is centered align also with this data centered okay and also here is right aligned right aligned the country is right aligned okay, okay I think we missed this the country also is centered aligned the country is centered aligned vertically and horizontally. Okay, so this is done. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that it is landscape orientation. Row and column headings are displayed. All formula are fully visible. 
Okay, so we need to print showing the formula. So what we're going to do is go to formulas, show formula. Again, we want to make sure that all the formulas are fully visible. So and then we'll check. Okay, all the formulas are visible. Okay, so we go to file. Print. Okay, the orientation and landscape. Then we need to go to page setup. Sheets to make row and column heading. So we have the row and column heading. Okay, so we have 12 pages. And that's it. Question 11. Select rows 1 to 7, inclusive, and only the rows between 8 to 26, where sightings took place. Okay, um, I'm going to change, because we are going to print showing values. So I'm going to change back to show values. Okay. Need to adjust this. Okay, so we need to print from this row up to this row. It has to show, the printout should show only the country that contains, that has values. Okay, that has values, not zero. Okay, so what, and then we need to take a screenshot of the method we use to select these rows from 8 to 26. Place this screenshot in your evidence document. So what we're going to do is we're going to do filter. So select the field names. Go to home. Okay, filter. And then, so we don't want to see zero. So we need to screenshot this. Okay, so we have data that contains values now, more than zero. Okay, so I'm going to place that in my evidence document as step 11, evidence. Okay, print this selection showing the values. The printout fits on one single page, portrait orientation, Column and row, row and column headings are displayed. Content of all the cells in the selected rows are fully visible. So we need to print only that selection from this row up to this row. So file, print. So we need to change the, you should only print the selection. Okay, and then the orientation is portrait. The page setup, okay, check again. So our row and column headings is fully displayed. Okay. And then you print. Okay, so that's all for spreadsheet task. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.